hello everyone welcome to only Maths. so today we will see some uh, beautiful and surprising result about that sine function and a very beautiful function so let me write it so let's talk about this function that fx equals to sine x by x okay so this is a very beautiful function now we are trying to find out the limit okay so limit of fx as x tends to zero okay so this means basically what we are trying to do is limit of sin x by x as x tends to zero okay so we are trying to evaluating that limit sin x by x as x tends to zero what is that limit we know that uh, the limit is let me see what happened so so many people get the mistake of it that uh, what the mistake is that they try to apply the loss pedal rule because you see that sine 0 by 0 is basically 0 by 0 form okay but which is basically completely incorrect okay that is the that is a very beautiful part of it don't apply loss pedal rule here okay do not apply loss pedal rule here because uh, that will like uh, <coughs> tends to some more uncomfortable situation okay it's not good to apply loss pedal so rather than applying loss pedal rule we should applying a very beautiful thing and quite easy thing i would say is this that so at first uh, let me explain and expand sin x okay so if we expand the sin x about the point x equals to zero then see what happened okay so in general sin x is equals to x minus x cube by 3 factorial plus x to the power 5 by 5 factorial minus x to the power 7 by 7 factorial and plus dot dot and so on now we will do that sin x by x so sin x by x is equals to basically at first on the new matter the whole term it's minus x to the power 7 by 7 factorial and dot dot by 6 then what will happen like this so if you divide this then the first term is 1 minus x square by 3 factorial plus x to the power 4 by 5 factorial minus x to the power 6 by 7 factorial and so on now now we will apply this limit here okay now if we apply the limit of sin x by x as x tends to 0 what would happen is all the term will be basically uh, this part will be basically 0 that part is basically 0 so it will like 1 minus 0 by 3 factorial plus 0 by 5 factorial minus 0 by 7 factorial and so on so the limit is basically 1 all right so that is the very beautiful part of it so this is uh, the process to determine the limit of sin x by x which is uh, basically equal to 1 okay thanks for watching and if you really like this video then please subscribe and of course share and if you have any doubt then please 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 comment okay please comment